They were dancing in the streets of South Los Angeles. There was food and fun, but this was no ordinary block party. This is what we do. Bring it, bring it. Come on. Thousands turned out near the Rancho Cienega Sports Center to witness history in the making, the renaming of Rodeo Road to Barack Obama Boulevard. Los Angeles City Council President Herb Wesson proposed the change. I just kind of wish no my joke, mother was no joke, still no alive here, because here, this street will be here for decades and I could take pride in being the one that got it named after President Obama. So I, I feel unbelievably proud. Before the signs unveiling, dozens of state and local officials took to the stage in a show of support. The next time you're on the street when you're driving your car, you'll be driving down Barack Obama Boulevard. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti summed it all up. L.A. loves Barack Obama, and Barack Obama loves L.A. Barack Obama is familiar with this neighborhood. It was here that he held an important rally when he was a presidential candidate. Three, two, one. For many, seeing this new street sign was an overwhelming experience. It feel, fills me with so much pride to know that he was so important as our president and we, I'm so happy that we're honoring him by naming this boulevard after him because he means so much to all of us. Overjoyed. <laughs> Barack Obama Boulevard will run for three and a half miles from Culver City to Mid City and through communities like Baldwin Hills. What's particularly interesting is that Obama Boulevard and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard intersect, making it one of the most significant points of interest for African American culture in America. I want a peace on the air for our people, man. City leaders say the former president inspired so many Angelinos. And now for us to be able to give that back isn't just about thanking the Obama family, it's about inspiring a kid today that he or she can be president as well, that there should be no barriers in our life. Although Barack Obama did not attend the event, he did send a letter to the crowd. And while Michelle, Malia, Sasha and I are so humbled by this day, we're still mindful that it's not about us. It's about this neighborhood's next generation and all we want for them. The clear message on this day was that political involvement is the key to a brighter future. You ought to wake up in the morning saying, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can.